Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this tutorial that was highly requested by you guys on my Instagram. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So I went ahead and used two different palettes, well, two different type of palettes. I used the Juvia's Place, and then I went ahead and used some Morphe single shades. I love these single shades. They are my fave. Best quality Morphe product. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Morphe Flame, and I'm just going to go ahead and use a blending brush and I'm just going to take this color and work it into my crease and I'm going to just blend it out very effortlessly and give it a nice wash. Just be sure that you're not using super strong pressure and you're just going in a circular motion. Now that I got that transition color in, I'm going to go ahead and move on to Morphe Brick. It's also a single shadow and I'm going to go ahead and take a different blending brush and I'm just going to pack on that color onto the outer corners of my crease. And as I'm packing, I'm also going to go in a circular motion and kind of pull it out in a wing just to give my eye shape a nice defined wing look. I prefer the wing look to my eye shape versus the rounded shape. Um, me personally, I don't like how the rounded shape looks on me. Dang, guys, look at that pigment. Yes. And now we're going to go into the world's most pigmented palette I have ever used. It is so amazing. This is the Juvia Place Magic Palette. It's literally magical. I love it. I'm just taking a green shade. There's seven different green shades, I think. Actually, no, there's only three. And I'm just going to take the lightest shimmery mermaidy shade that they have. I think it's called Conage or Conge. And it just has a very mermaid vibe to it. And I'm just going to pop that onto my lids. This is a going on my lid without any type of spray sprayed onto my brush. And that's amazing pigment. Then. Now I'm just going to go back in with that same blending brush and just deepen up the crease. And just make sure there's no harsh lines. All I'm doing is making sure there's not a harsh line between the green and the orange. Now it's time to make that face super flawless. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this Fresh Glow Primer. It's like an illuminating primer. I'm just going to put it all over my face, and then I'm going to also take this Unicorn Essence um, primer as well. It's kind of like skincare. All these products have skincare benefits to it, and I'm just going to go ahead and rub that all over my face. What this is going to do is make my foundation last longer, and I totally love this method. I didn't get to show you guys what foundation I'm using, but I'm using the Pure, Co Pure Cosmetics Bare It All Foundation. I'm not sure how I like it yet. I need to do a review on it and like actually test it out and show you guys. How I feel about it but I'm testing it out just to give you an honest feedback on the foundation I'm just using it on a damp beauty blender and I'm just applying it onto my skin like so now I'm gonna go ahead and take this concealer you know the concealer that makes everybody dance makes everybody happy the shape tape concealer and I'm just going to conceal underneath my eyes cover up those bags brighten up that face and I'm not gonna use it as a highlighting so much I'm gonna use it more as coverage and to clean up my eyeshadow and I'm gonna go ahead and take this mini beauty blender or should I say booty blender just like Patrick Star I'm just gonna go ahead and it's also damp I'm gonna go ahead and just blend out all of that under eye then, then I'm gonna go ahead and set the under eye because you do not want it to budge or crease and I'm using the cover FX setting powder that I love because it doesn't give any flashback and you don't look like you have like shocking deer eyes. Now it's time to contour. I usually do cream contour you guys because I just love how cream contour looks. It looks natural. It doesn't look harsh but I'm going to go ahead and just do some powder contour because I'm just I was pressed on time and sometimes powder contour is just faster because it's easier to blend. I'm using the shape tape. Nope. I'm using the Kate why can't I think of it? The Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, you guys, to contour. And I use all three colors mixed together to give myself that perfect customized shade. Okay, guys, I must admit this is my favorite step in doing my makeup. It is chiseling out my cheekbones, cutting that contour so my cheeks look nice and lifted and bomb. I just love how this process looks it's just so smooth and flawless and all I'm doing is just using a small little beauty blender and just cutting out my cheekbones and cleaning it up so it doesn't look like if you put too much bronzer it'll just kind of you know weigh you down so that always happens to me so I just easily clean it up like this I only let it sit on my face for a little bit and then I just go ahead and clean it off with a brush 
Okay guys, so now I am basically going back to my eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and just do the under eyes and I'm taking that flame color and I'm just using that all over the under eye and then I'm gonna take the brick color and concentrate it more on the outer parts of the eyes and then I'm going to obviously go ahead and take another color from the Magic palette and this is Faso. It's a purple shade, iridescent. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's like the most prettiest inner corner tear duct highlight that I've ever seen. And I love it because I love purple shades. And also, you guys know I love to bling out my inner corner tear duct. It just brings out my eyes. It just makes my eyes look bigger. So I always do that. Okay, maybe this is my most favorite part, but I'm taking a highlighter by Ofra Cosmetics and You Do You. This is one of my most favorite highlighters because it is so bling. It just goes so well with my skin tone. It's so gorgeous, and yeah, I love it, and I just love the bling, and I love to make my highlighter a little bit more heavier. I'm a full glam girl. I like to put on a lot of makeup because most days I don't wear a lot of makeup, but when I do do my makeup, I like to get real artsy and, you know, fartsy with it and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some blush you guys in this screen shot right here the blush was very very pink so I had to go and just kind of like tone it down a little and I blended a lot to get that to go downwards now I'm gonna go ahead and take this lip pencil by Rimmel London and Cafe O Latte which is one of my most favorites and I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with it I have a hard time lining my lips because I have very shapely lips and I have an unsteady hand when it comes to my lips. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a dose of color. This is a liquid lipstick, one of my favorite colors in stone. I love this color because it just goes with every skin tone and every person that I know wears it looks amazing in it. But obviously if you have darker skin tone like me, you do want to wear a lip liner with it so it does not wash you out. Okay guys, so this is basically me putting on some eyelashes yeah I'm gonna put on some eyelashes these are very wispy these are iris beauty sriracha they're very wispy they're very out there but I like a very nice strong lash it just makes my eyes look bigger here's a comparison of a lash with no lash you can wear them both ways okay guys this is the finished look it's totally summery folly vibe type of thing transition to fall Go ahead and like and comment down below and subscribe to my channel. All details are down below and thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.